All right, Asia, welcome back. Uh, how do you feel? How do you feel going into this season? Um, I feel excited. You know, it's a season of new beginnings for all of us. We have like 13 transfers, a whole new coaching staff. So I'm definitely excited to see how we all gel together and be on the same page. You came over here from Liberty a couple of years ago. What is the biggest thing that you learned about yourself while there that you wanted to t want to take with you while here at UCF? You know, the, the thing I learned most about myself during the whole transition is just being, stay true to myself, you know, stay true to my morals, and just allow God to lead my way, lead my life. What has it been like integrating with the rest of this team? You didn't really get a chance to play last season, and so a lot of the, a lot of these players really didn't get a lot of time to play last season except for Destiny. So what has it been like integrating with these players? Uh, you, are you talking about the transfers or just the returners? I would say the transfers mainly, but I but at, you know everyone that you know th th this is in a sense a very much a retooled team. So like, what has it the 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 dynamic been? With. Yeah, so a lot of during the off season, during the summer, we took a lot of time just doing a lot of team bonding activities, uh, spending time together um, on and off the court. We played a lot of pickup games, so during that time, we was able to gel and just um, try to pick up chemistry and learn each other's personnel. What made you decide to stay? Because I know that there were uh, several players that decided to follow Coach Abe to Georgia. So, what made you decide to stay? Uh, I definitely had to pray on it. Uh, it definitely wasn't an easy decision, but once I met with Coach Messer and she explained her vision and what she had for us as UCF, and she was definitely big on family and like developing relationships, so that was definitely a big piece for me, and I feel like she would definitely instill confidence in not just me, but also my teammates. What is the, what is the difference in the Asia Todd that you, in the end, at the end of the season that you want to see than this Asia Todd we see now? Like what, what's the biggest difference you want to see in yourself by the end of the I season? I mean, yeah, last year was a season of a lot of adversity. Um, I actually registered last year uh, due to injuries. Um, so this year is definitely the get back season, the comeback season, and to get back to the level of play that I am accustomed to. What, what do you, where do you want to see this team grow at the end of the season? How do you want this team to grow? I want to see them grow, uh, definitely to give the championship mentality. Um, definitely just play hard every day and just uh, have Coach uh, Messer's motto of won't stop. Well, how, how, big is that, how big is that won't stop kind of uh, taken to this team? It's been a big thing. You know, it's just a constant reminder to, um, to us every day in practice when we're getting tired, you know, we just won't stop playing hard. And it doesn't just apply to us on the court, but it also applies to us off the court as far as academics, because without academics, you can't even get on the court. What what do you want What do you want to see this team do by by the by, by, by the end of the season? Uh, by the end of the season, I want us to get win the championship. Well, like win the champ. Like, how would you go about doing that? Like, like the qualities that this team needs in order to do that. Uh, definitely uh, continue to buy into Coach Messer's system and go 110 percent every day in practice and focus on energy, uh, details, and toughness, which are the three things that our coaches preach every day. Awesome. Thank you, Aja.